Hi, I thought I'd do another inbox review tonight. Um, this is one I picked up at a model show quite recently, so a bit of clear from the uh, lights. Um, Academy's uh, MiG 21 MF F M F. I <laughs> try to say that again. Uh, Polish Air Force. Um, I think uh, Academy done quite a lot of uh, MiG 21 boxings in various guises. Um, this one obviously is marked as a limited edition. Comes with cartograph decals, which is always a great thing. Um, you only get, by the looks of things, the one option. Um, you do actually get a little bit of photo etch, which again is always a bit of a bonus. Um, and obviously you get this interesting um, colour scheme with the swordfish, I guess, on, on the side here. Um, looks nice. Kit number is a one a treble two four. Um, oh no, you actually get two uh, versions here. Uh, both pair, both, blah, both Polish Air Force. Um, fairly standard stuff here. Um, and obviously a picture of the finished model on the side. Let's open up and see what we've got here. We'll start with the instructions. Tackle sheet looks like it's in there. Let's go back to that in a second. Um, okay, fairly standard academy, um, I think. Um, what's nice here is you've got the, uh, quite a variety of paint options. It gives you the colours for sort of Mr. Color. Mr. Color. Uh, Aquarius, uh, Life Colour, oh, Life Colour in fact, Humbrol, um, Testers and Model Master, um, so you know, you've, you've got a pretty good range there, um, should be able to find the paints you need, a um, bit of bump obviously about self and safety in various languages, um, there we go straight on, fortunately it's a kind of pull out rather than a booklet, not quite so keen on them but luckily it's not that complicated in the instructional manual so not too bad. Um, we've got a couple of little bits here. We've got the photo etch parts, which tells you, shows you um, where to replace various. Oh, sorry, you're not seeing that very well. Uh, the first page is the photo etch parts assembly, where it basically shows you where you're going to cut off bits or add your photo etch. Um, fairly straightforward, fairly detailed there. Um, it's quite useful. Um, we then crack on again. Um, as with most of these <laughs> kits, we're starting in the actual um, cockpit. Um, looks to be a bit of a basic seat, so um, I must admit I might try and look out and get some sort of resin seat, pick them up relatively cheap, and I think that would just hopefully um, you know, improve the cockpit. Um, obviously you can't really tell from this picture what the details are on the cockpit sides, the instrument panel, but it's a relatively small cockpit. Um, there's no real additional detail here, you've got a basic part, a single piece there for the um, nose wheel. Uh, it mentions adding a weight, 15 grams here. Um, interesting, there seems to be some sort of very, I so that's paints, yeah okay, so they're telling you there's slightly different colours depending on whether you're doing version 1 and version 2. Um, I think when I come to do this, I'll put a little bit more than 15 just to be on the safe side. Um, but we'll see what we can, we'll see what we can cram in the nose to be honest. Um, we then go on to, um, so basically it buttons up fairly quickly, you know, pretty much fairly simple cockpit, whack the sides together. We've then got just the end of the engine here. Um, and then the uh, main fuselage goes together and hooks into the nose that you've already built. Wings, tail, um, interestingly the actual sort of bump on the top we're actually putting on, which I guess may or may not work quite well, at least it will cover any seam line here, so it should make cleaning up your seam line a little bit easier. Uh, wheel, uh, wings, stabilizers all go together here, uh, obviously it mentions uh, PE parts here. Now you can actually have the canopy here closed or open by the looks of things. It gives you the option there. Um, then we basically, oh, in fact, it even gives you the degrees, three degrees for the wings. And then we go pretty much straight onto the wheel there. And then pretty much it really comes to the final bits come together speed brakes, um, various bits and bobs, lumps and bumps go on here. Wheels um, again, there's some very you've got to check carefully the instructions here because there's differences for versions one and two. It's mainly looks to be paint, 
um, guide more than different parts. And then you've got some bombs, missiles, uh, drop tanks, fuel tanks, and the cannon goes on at the end there. Um, fairly standard. It gives you some armament diagrams here. Um, and we've got actually a parts map at the end, including a list of parts not used, which is quite useful. So that's the instructions. Um, I think I'll do this one in a slightly different order. We'll actually look at the decals and the, the other bits. In fact, I'm, I'm not going to open these because I don't think I really need to. You can pretty much see they're cartographed. They're going to be good. Um, I suspect still getting the... Um, this swordfish around the various lumps and bumps is going to be a little bit of a challenge uh, but hopefully because they're cartographed decals um, it, you know they should go on and be pr pretty pretty good um, but they're really nice actually again they're very glossy but let's open them and have a proper look <coughs> yeah they're quite they're quite glossy um, but they're very glossy again so I think they'll go on nicely. Um, almost zero stencils of act on this one. A um, couple of bits and bobs there, but not much. Looks nice. Then we've got a little bit of brass here. Um, I don't know what Academy brass or photo which is going to be like compared to the sort of likes of um, Eddard. And it's not too bad. It's not as thick as some of the a photo etcher get out there. I don't know who makes it for them, but you've got a few bits and pieces. I think they're mainly lumps and bumps on the outside of the aircraft. And you've got the pito tube here, which is nice actually, it's always useful. I always tend to break the plastic ones, so I'll probably end up just stabbing myself with this one instead. So that will be interesting. Together. Okay, so we've got in here. Oh, actually, that's another paint guide. Right, so we've got a few bits and pieces about tools you'll need to build the kit. Uh, a bit of sort of health and safety stuff there. Um, as I say, we've actually got another part to the instructions, which is really just a um, decal. Uh, placement and painting guide really. Shame it's not in colour but at least it's fairly clear and easy to read. As I say not really especially if you choose uh, MF uh, MIG 21 MF 9111 you're not going to have hardly any decals to put on there at all. So we've got one unfortunately um, slight technical glitch I managed to uh, run out of memory on my memory card um, so we've got the first part, we're going to crack on here, um, we've, I think we've just got to the stage where we were looking at the parts. <coughs> first bit, fuselage, or at least the front part of the fuselage and the tail. Um, nice actually, um, we've got um, no flash, we've got very fine um, recessed panel lines here. Well, you can see that, hopefully you can see that. Picking it up. Um, there's some uh, riveting as well. Well, it's good. There's the um, instrument panel. Looks pretty good. Quite detailed. Nice. Uh, the size of the seat. So actually, even though the instructions they don't look that good, there's a reasonable amount of detail level there. Uh, cockpit tub. Um, yeah, not the best detail, but again, you've got a little bit of raised detail there. Um, so that all looks quite nice. Although there is some injection pin marks here, because you've got the tub, you're not going to see anything there, so you don't need to worry too much about that, I don't think. So that bit's quite nice. The second sprue, so we've got the wings. Um, again, you've got some nice, again, I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. In this light, sorry, um, that's a bit better. Uh, you've got some nice uh, recessed panel lines and some riveting. Um, yeah, not too overstated, pretty good. Get on the underneath there, I don't know how well you can see that. It's picking that up quite nicely. 
Uh, again, all the parts seem to be flash free, the reason why detail in there. Um, doesn't seem to be uh, now. We have got some rather unpleasant injection pin marks, I think, there on the uh, sort of landing gear doors, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I'm not sure how easy they're going to be to clean up, but we can try. Second sprue, here we mostly have the tanks and the missiles, etc., and some wheels. Side. Um, again, it's all nice and clean, flash free. Um, nothing really much to say about that. We've got, um, you know, again, some nice detail there. Recessed panel lines. Looks pretty good to me. I think I can find there. This is just a um, an exact copy. Uh, again, the landing gear's good. good. Um, we've got no weight on wheels, unfortunately, but the actual wheels themselves look pretty detailed. No, that's all quite clean parts. Not much problem there. And then we've got the final bag here. main two fuselage halves here. Again, nice. Uh, we've got some lovely, uh, oh, there we go, hopefully that camera's picking that up. Uh, recess panel lines, riveting, not overstated, it's all quite subtle. Um, no, that's nice. Uh, seats actually got belts, which is always a handy, handy thing to have, so that's quite nice. Um, as I say, we've got some more bits and pieces here again it's all flash free it's all clean um, looks pretty good what's nice is the uh, speed brakes there's no horrible injection pin marks there so if you want to have them open uh, that's going to be pretty good pretty clean um, more seat parts at the back of the seat it's quite detailed no, that looks pretty good. Now, the all important clear parts. Let's see if these are any good. They look pretty good so far from what I can see. Um, let's see if we can bring it in a bit here so we can see them against the actual mat. You can see there. They're nice and clear. There's certainly no issue there. Um, there's a bit of distortion when you're looking through the glass, sorry, I don't know, you won't be able to really see this, this angle. But, actually, that's not bad again. Um, no, I mean, they're, they're pretty good. Don't think there's much to say there again. We've got no flash or anything unsightly there. Um, bring it back out again. And I think that's pretty much it. We've already gone over the other bits in part one. Sorry for the, the disruption halfway through the, the video. Um, but uh, hopefully that was useful. This looks like a nice kit. So I'm going to look looking forward to that. I'm a bit of a fan of the MiG-21. Um, uh, it looks like a nice little kit. Um, definitely, you know, we've got some nice different decal scheme here. Uh, being cartographed, hopefully they'll go down well. All right, cheers. Thanks for watching.